Okay, so the recorder cut me off, so we must have hit an hour. Sorry about that, guys. We're almost finished, I promise. So this will be two videos. It'll be okay. Y'all can handle it. Okay, because we really get an hour and 15 minutes in this class, but it's, it's so far been less than an hour. But today, sorry about that. So I think what we were saying was out of this loaf of bread, it, each of these slices would be one-tenth of the loaf. And again, we would say, okay, this guy gets one-tenth and this guy gets one-tenth. And so each of these ten men would get one-tenth of a loaf of this bread, right, this loaf of bread. So they got a half of a loaf out of these five, plus they get a tenth of a loaf out of this, okay. So it's actually really... Pretty straightforward. This is the way that the scribes solved it in this problem number three on the Ron Papyrus. So they ended up with one half plus one tenth, which um, I don't remember which was what was our three fifths a minute ago. We did three fifths. Let me find it real fast. Earlier for three fifths, we had one fifth. Yeah, one fifth plus one third plus one fifteenth. So we had this, <laughs> and we used the two over end table, but they have this in the Rhyme Papyrus, which tells you they didn't use the two over end table, right? Because they didn't quite have it for the three fifths guy. So um, we used it to replace our one, our two fifths. So they didn't always use it that way. It also tells us that our answers here are not unique. Okay. So you might have an answer, you might have the one half plus the one tenth, but on my key, I might have the one fifth plus the one third plus one fifteenth. And so here's what happens. It's so much fun for me when I grade these tests. So exam one plus the final, so much fun for you guys. It's just midterm and final. So it's both of yours. Um, so what happens here is um, if I have the other answer, but you have this, Am I going to say, oh, you got it wrong, <clears throat> doesn't match my key? No, I don't do that, right? If you go down a rabbit hole and you show your work for that rabbit hole, I will follow you down the rabbit hole. <laughs> That's what happens. Okay, so as long as you get to a correct answer, okay, and I'll know it's correct because it's equivalent, right? That's the big trick here. Okay, so what we know is this is equivalent to one-third plus one-fifth plus one-fifteenth. It's got to be, because they're both equal to three-fifths, right? So if I'm not sure, I can do a little bit of arithmetic, get some common denominators and check it and make sure that your answer is equivalent to mine. But what you need to do in order to get me to be okay with your answer is show your work. That's the big thing. So show your work. Your answer is a correct answer. It doesn't have to be the same as mine. So that's how I follow you down the rabbit hole. All right, see, we were so close to being finished and that thinker cut me off. So I'll figure out exactly where it cut me off and I'll get these loaded into D2L. And that is our content for today. So awesome. Thank you very much. And I will try to get a housekeeping video up as well. Yay, I did send out an email, I think. So check your email. All right.